So there's this guy, we'll call him Peter. He and his wife just spent the last week moving into a new place and he's falling asleep on his front porch. As he's falling asleep, this older lady comes up to him and I was like, oh, you just moved in. I want to get to know my neighbors. Come up to my place. We'll have some tea. I live just up the street. So Peter's like, sure, why not? Once he gets there, the old lady's teenage daughter shows up and she offers him some tea. She blurts out, oh, you're that handsome man that just moved in down the street. And Peter's caught off guard and he's super uncomfortable. He's a married man. And what teenager tells a man that they're handsome? So he goes to put his tea down and thank the old lady for her hospitality when the teenager drops to his feet and begs him to marry her. He tells her, no thanks, I'm married, I'm sorry, I'll be going now. And she's clutching at his feet as he's trying to leave. And she's still asking over and over again, please marry me. I'm young, I can give you many beautiful children. And Peter's stumbling to get out and he's looking for the old lady, like where is she and why is she letting her daughter act like this? The girl says something that confuses him even more. She's like, you've got to have feelings for me. Two days ago, you tried to kill my mother, but yet you still came here today to say hello. And Peter's able to shake her loose at this point, And he starts running down the street to his own home. As he's running away, the house behind him disappears. And when he gets to his porch, he finds himself sleeping. The second he sees a sleeping self, he wakes up and calls out to his wife, Mary. Have you met that old lady up the street? She was just here and asked me to go up to hers for tea and I just got back. And Mary cuts him off. Just got back. You've been asleep here for at least the past 20 minutes. She shakes her head and walks off and Peter thinks, what on earth kind of dream was that? He stands up to stretch and notices that there are webs up in the corner of his porch and he remembers that two days before he tried to swat at a spider but it quickly crawled away out of reach. So what in the netherworld are we dealing with today? This creature can create illusions which explains Peter's dream and the fact that the house just disappeared behind him. It appears in one of three forms, an attractive young woman, a giant spider with many eyes, or a combination of both. Some say that this creature will appear as a woman with a baby to try and get men to have pity on them. Surprise that baby's a spider egg sac. Also, the reflection will show their true form, which is a giant spider. They lure young men to their homes and they either devour them whole or they poison them and drain their life force slowly and painfully. In some versions of folklore, she commands other spiders. Some say these spiders are her babies and that they breathe fire. Oh, they also can weave strong webs, strong enough to trap full grown men. Okay, so these creatures are found in Japan and they are a type of yokai. They're called Jorogumo, which roughly translates to spider woman, but more like the lady of the night kind of woman. They are found in forests, caves, and empty homes and cities, so really nowhere is safe if you think about it. So yeah, if you're ever in Japan and a young teenager is like really wanting to get hitched, Find a way to check a reflection or you might just become this spider queen's next meal.